okay so this is the this is the axial this is t1 weighted image and uh the first thing that you start to notice in here is the superior uh frontal gyrus this is the superior frontal sulcus over here this is the middle this is the middle uh, uh frontal sulcus over here and then this typically connects to the precentral gyrus over here now the central it's not so so clear over here but the central gyrus central sulcus is this one and remember the central sulcus typically has this omega sign or like a hand knob sign that you will see you, but you don't see it over here do you no you don't so this is not you cannot see it always but if you see it it's very obvious the other thing that one sees that um, talk about parse marginalis which is coming from the medial side as part of the cingulate sulcus it goes up and it gives you this thing is right anterior to that is the central sulcus so that's that uh, will help you localize the the post central sulcus typically when it comes in it starts to divide it can go like this see this it's dividing central sulcus typically don't if they have this and then um, uh, they are straight and the pre-central sulcus they are usually connected with the superior central sulcus over here and then here see this okay uh, then now this is a CT scan. Now remember, in a CT scan, you will see the central sulcus in much anterior. Why? Because if I have a head like this, okay. Uh, uh, sorry, it's me drawing a chiniari maybe. It's, my drawing is not that bad. Okay. So and you have a brain like this. And if you make if you make sections, it depends. If you make sections like these, versus you make sections like these, right? If you make sections like these, the whole of the slice will have frontal and a little bit of parietal if you make if you make section like this part of this slice will be frontal and part of it parietal so it all depends how the section was made right mm -hmm. so in here in in here for example you see this again the central sulcus this knob sign the uh the pre-central sulcus the post-central sulcus which is dividing see that and this is the median uh, mid you know uh, midline uh, fissure whereas in the ct scan the central sulcus is much anterior over here the central sulcus over here and there's this little knob over here and this is that parse marginalis so see that's different and again this ct scan is little tilted different way so here the central sulcus is over here so don't go by don't go by the image that you don't go by the by where it is here the central sulcus is and you can do it half central sulcus is over here in this sense, circus is below that below half, right? So it all depends how the patient was positioned and how the sections were cut. So don't uh, don't let yourself get fooled. Look for these signs. Have here again. You see this division over here? This is the post central sulcus. And you see this? This is the parse marginalis coming from the middle side. Central sulcus is going to be anterior to that. Okay. <clears throat> um didn't I just show it? Okay. Central sulcus. No, so look at this. This parse marginalis is not so clear over here, right? So, so, so every brain is a little different. And here is the pre-central sulcus, right? Dividing central sulcus. You know, you see this knob sign again here, omega sign, hand knob sign, right? And then, and uh, superior central, uh, superior frontal sulcus, and then joining the pre-central sulcus, superior frontal sulcus, joining the pre-central sulcus. In here, let's see where it is. It. <clears throat> so. In this, this is the this is this this is the superior frontal sulcus joining the precentral sulcus, and then this is looks like the central sulcus, and this looks like the parse marginalis over here, and same thing, superior frontal sulcus, uh, precentral sulcus, central sulcus. Here is dividing a little bit. So you know again, even you have to look at and and the other thing also is. Look at this thickness over here. This thickness versus this thickness. You know, so 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 that is important. This thickness versus this thickness. The 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 post central gyrus will be thinner than the pre central gyrus. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. Okay. <clears throat> so so remember these things. <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, the the midline interhemisphere fissure the superior uh, frontal sulcus right 
uh, and then it joins the precentral sulcus over here, the sigmoid hook sign or the omega sign or whatever they call it. And then precentral is thicker than the postcentral, and then the postcentral will divide into this. And then and then I didn't talk about these interparietal sulcus, but that you can see in there also. So this is the interparietal sulcus over here, and uh, in, as a, it may come in the next images. Okay, um, I think I have done this picture. So yep yep superior central precentral superior central precentral parse mar parse marginalis parse marginalis okay and this is the interparietal sulcus over here like this interparietal sulcus right i guess i should have a picture of that too because because it's hard to remember interparietal sulcus and all that thing if you don't have it in front of you um <clears throat> I think it's somewhere I did put a picture of that and uh, so okay let's see let's see let's see quickly uh, okay here we go so yeah I hope that you can you guys can see it so so this is a sylvian fissure on the surface right and this is the central sulcus this is the pre-central sulcus post-central sulcus the pre-central sulcus from here till here from the right from the from the uh, Prior to occipital sulcus, this is the parietal lobe, and the parietal lobe is divided into two parts by interparietal sulcus. And the interparietal sulcus above that is a superior parietal lobule, below that is the inferior parietal lobule. Inferior, inferior parietal lobule is mainly supramarginal gyrus and angular gyrus. I hope it is visible over here on your screens. Okay, so 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 coming back to coming back to that image that I was showing. Uh, yeah okay so 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 now you understand the so now you understand the interparietal sulcus right this is the post central so this whole thing this whole thing is the parietal lobe in in ct scan you see the parietal lobe and and the and the frontal lobe they're like this right it depends how your position but in 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 mri for example uh not this one uh yeah maybe this one um so maybe this one here well it's in some mri you will see the frontal lobe coming all the way up to here it, because that's what it was positioned okay all right <clears throat> so um now in in here you start to see the sylvian fissure over here right um uh, sylvian fissure over here and uh, Outside lateral to that, it depends how it was cut. It can be the operculum from the frontal lobe, or it can be the operculum from the temporal lobe. So that you know, it can confuse you, but uh, don't 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 confine yourself by saying this is what it is. Look at the images above and below. Uh, the lateral ventricles are very clear. The caudate is very clear over here. The putamen and globus pallidus, and the thalamus. And this 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 thing you remember this this is this is something that one has to remember this to uh, to uh, uh, align oneself always. Uh, this is the atrium. Why why do I see it atrium? Because I still see the choroid plexus in here, and then the uh, the occipital horn will go like that. Uh, and <clears throat> in this um, you can now hear the the. Uh, the more the more the central sulcus it's very difficult to distinguish central sulcus over here uh, but the but the uh the prior occipital fissure you can see and that's more like an x shaped like this you can see it over here <clears throat> the the calcarine sulcus is deep you can see it over here same thing right now this little higher up okay so 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 remember this this is structure and this and this you know just remember that and what is in between is the is the internal capsule right so this is internal capsule in between right and uh, <clears throat> and then and then there is claustrum over here and then this is the external capsule over here uh, external capsule here and this is the extreme capsule over here and in between the external capsule and the extreme capsule is the is the claustrum and then and then after extreme this is the insula over here okay um, and one again one can look at the interparietal over here okay 
Now, this is again in, in certain MRIs, you can see it better in this one. It's not so clear, but then this is the uh, olfactory gyrus, olfactory sulcus over here. And the frontal lobe goes like this. You usually have edge shaped just like over here. And you can, you don't have to remember that. That's not so important from our perspective, uh, neurology and neurosurgery, but then you can remember these sulci. Uh, anterior commissure, remember that, anterior commissure. And this is important because this is important for DBS and all that thing. So you see the anterior commissure just like a bicycle handle. And then right be behind the anterior commissure are the fornix. They are dipping down. They are, you know, coming and dipping down the fornix over here. This is the leftover of the, of the caudate. Uh, and then the rest of the basal ganglia over here and thalamus over here. Corpus callosum, the posterior part over here. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, uh, in this, uh, we are going down, we see the orbital, uh, the olfactory uh, uh, gyrus much better over here. The orbits are starting to show up. The globe is showing up over here. Uh, in this, we don't see in some of the images, you can see the muscles pretty well. But don't fool yourself <clears throat> into uh, saying that <clears throat> an optic nerve is here because optic nerve will only be the center of this. Now, over here, you see this structure, you know, this uh, inverted V. So this is the optic tract coming from here like this. This is the optic tract. Okay. Remember that. This is the optic tract. And, and right next to it are these mammillary bodies over here. Okay, this is cerebral aqueduct. Now this is nothing. This is this is just a little interpeduncular uh, cistern. Uh, it because of the sectioning, it, it looks like as if something inside. Ambient cistern, the superior colliculus, right? <clears throat> this is the occipital horn. This was the atrium over here. Okay. <clears throat> now this is a picture that I showed because <clears throat> a lot of time it it uh, uh, the residents get confused about where is the amygdala. So they came. Yeah, this is the temporal horn over here, right? And anything below the temporal horn is going to be hippocampus, which we remove in, in amygdala hippocampectomy. And sometimes when the amygdala hippocampectomy, you go up over here and this is the amygdala is over here. So the uncus is, is the medial part that goes the parahippocampus. It goes and sort of takes it. Remember this sentence. Uncus is the home of the amygdala. Okay, so um, um, so, um, so amygdala is, is is embedded in the in the and this is the cross. This is another cross section. So you see this amygdala over here. You see this hippocampus and this thing is uncus over here. <clears throat> in this image, this green thing is the uncus. All right. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so here again, this is uncus. Amygdala would be here. This is hippocampus. This is uh, temporal horn. Uh, this is uh, your, uh, not your, this is this patient's midbrain, and I'm running short of time. And uh, interpeduncular cistern over here, and you start to see, although you still see uh, the um, um, occipital uh, uh, lobe over here, but then you start to see, because the tentorial, this is a tentorial notch, you start to see the cerebellar folia over here. Okay. Um, I think we are we are running short of time. This is this is the occipital temporal sulcus, going like this. Occipital temporal sulcus over here, right? <clears throat> uh, okay. And uh, now this is the pons. This is the uh, this is the uh, uh, middle cerebral peduncle, basilar artery, <clears throat> and this the 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 typical picture with the pyramid, the pyramid of the medulla. So remember that. Don't you know? Kya dafa ye hurti kar jate hain? Jaldi mein they say, oh, it's a, it's a midbrain. This is the shape like this of the <coughs> medulla. <coughs> and in in certain cis images, you can see things even better. So here is the eighth nerve going in here, seventh and eighth, and you can see the cochlea over here, right? And you can see the semicircular canals. Isn't it cute? Isn't it just beautiful, right? Okay, so the more you see these things, the more you start to pick things up. And uh, <clears throat> um, in here, this is the midline section. So here, the corpus callosum is like this over here, right? This is the fornix coming down, septum pellucidum over here. This is the cingulate sulcus, which goes up here. Well, actually, it's not very clear in here. I'll show it in another slide. The pars marginalis, cingulate sulcus. 
<clears throat> now this part this thing in some uh, some people call it medial uh, uh, frontal gyrus some call it as part of the superior frontal gyrus coming from the lateral side uh, the anterior notch is angle can be different and uh, you know again the mammillary body in here you should see this going like this into the pituitary gland the optic uh, chiasm and obviously midbrain interpedicular system and pons medulla going down right okay uh, you know <clears throat> you can google this picture and uh, from netter and 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 look at those structures very well in this we see it a little bit this is a little more lateral this is not exactly midline so this is the corpus callosum here splenium body genu okay lamina terminalis over here and uh, you see this is the cingulate circus now here it's a little broken but it's got and this is the pars marginalis and and you know anything that so, so central sulcus comes over here and this is the paracentral lobule paracentral lobule this is the cuneus this is the proto-occipital fissure and this is the calcarine fissure and this is cuneus this triangular thing and this is the this is the uh, lingual gyrus okay lingual precuneus cuneus and and paracentral lobule that all goes once you have looked at this one central sulcus and the pars marginalis now this is the same pars marginalis that goes on the lateral side and that is just posterior to that and behind the pars marginalis will be the um, post central gyrus sulcus <clears throat> the sylvian fissure um, we're running short of time the sylvian fissure i have these pictures over here you can look at it but this basically this is the structure of sylvian fissure there is one line over line over here and uh, you have the uh, posterior ascending ramus posterior descending ramus and anteriorly there are these two uh, uh, rami and basically these triangle these three triangular areas so so this is pars triangularis pars or percularis and pars orbitalis and usually the speech area is somewhere over here in the brokers but that's not very defined temporal lobe ha will have its two sulci that you will see now this one is the inferior don't 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 uh, get um, um, disoriented this is the inferior uh, frontal uh, frontal um, sulcus which joins the the precentral uh, sulcus over here okay now this this sometimes you know you talk about this hook sign over here see this hook sign and uh, so so it it can this is another hook sign this is different than the omega sign it's like a opposite of a hook or like this that is mostly but then remember this thing this ramus is behind the post central so this thing this thing is this is the central sulcus over here and this whole thing is the is the parietal lobe and this part above that is the supramarginal gyrus and this over here is the is the angular gyrus and and speech area and the heschel gyri over here uh, so in the coronal section you can see this olfactory uh, gyrus and the olfactory sulcus and the orbital um, uh, gyrus which is again the edge shaped division in there um, and if you look at the corpus callosum here this is the cingulate gyrus cingulate sulcus over here uh, we see the sylvan fissure right and uh, here you see the uh, you see this ox the 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 optic chiasm i think uh, fatma what should we do this is just uh, taking forever um, i didn't expect it will take that much time should we split up here now or should we uh, let go the the test thing fatma yes sir i think we should proceed for the test test thing okay like for example the special gyri over here which, uh, you know this of the temporal lobe the, the parahippocampus over here this is the campus this is the collective surplus over here this is you know so I, the problem is that uh, there's so much information uh, hippocampus here uh, so what uh, what, why why don't we do this uh, <clears throat> this is the this, these are the uh, just take a picture of this thing this thing over here is for that book mri this is the youtube video that will help you understand the mri 
a lot of images in Radiopedia, um, and I used images from them. And this one is a, another good resource to look at in different sequences quickly to understand this anatomy. And then we were going to do the case for neuroradiology. We'll just quickly go over it. Uh, again, hyperintense image, now where is it located, right? Where is it located? It's difficult to figure out. So the location of this, again, over here on the left side, you can see this omega, right? So this is probably that omega that is flattened out. So this is the frontal, this is the uh, the motor cortex, and it's in the pre-motor cortex area, right? That that tells you it's slightly hyperintense over here. Uh, on 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 this image, you can.